Hello, today we bring you all breaking news around the globe, breaking news in Ghana and beyond. In today's breaking news, 40 Ghanaians have been deported from the US of A. The Ghana Immigration Service has received 40 Ghanaian deportees from the United States of America. They were said to have been deported for various offenses ranging from the trafficking of banned substance, assault, vehicle theft, fraud, domestic violence, and immigration related issues. They arrived on board a charter flight from the US Omni Air International Boeing 777 OAE 328. According to the statement, 38 of them arrived on travel certificate issued by the Ghana Mission in Washington, D.C., while two of them were on Ghanaian passport. They were admitted into the Ghana after going through the needed disembarkation formalities including screening to authenticate their nationalities. Please stay tuned for more breaking news around the globe in Ghana and beyond. Please, this news is very, very, very shocking. While the US deporting Ghanaians to Ghana and we cannot deport Americans to the US. Sometimes I ask myself questions, a lot of questions. Please, I need your comments in the video below. Just leave your comments. Why a white man will never, never suffer to get a Ghanaian visa to come to Ghana or will never suffer to get a visa to Africa? They just wake up and come easily. But we blacks, Africans, Ghanaians, we have to do a whole lot of suffering, praying, fasting to get just their visa into their country and just to go and work for them. Most of the work that we go there to do are many jobs like cleaning their houses and their restaurants and laying their beds in their hotels and etc. Please leave your comment. How can Ghanaians, African, do to be self-reliant, self-sufficient, to also empower themselves like the developed state? Because they are developed, you see that they don't suffer to come here. But because we are less developed, we struggle to go to their country. And at, at the end, look at what they are doing to us, deporting us for basic offenses but if they are rather in our country we will not even if they cause mistakes or they cause they break the laws of the country Ghana we just wrap them up and we laugh with them easily but you seen what they've done to our Ghanaians from the US they are bringing them home just like that please leave your comment in the video section below what can Africans do to better themselves? We can do it. African politicians, individuals, let Gada rally together and create a better home for our future generation. We need to create a system for Ghana, system for Africa countries that we will be self-sufficient. You go to Europe and advanced countries, you see everything is by policies and they have been able to achieve it so that is why they are always moving on and we are just battling to see greener patches in those countries look at what is happening in libya africans struggle to cross the desert in dangerous zones some are killed some are murdered some are drowned in the sea what what is happening Africa is so rich with so much mineral resources, so much forestries, gold, everything. But what is happening? Please leave your comment below. What can we do as Africans to better ourselves so that we will not go to these advanced countries who are developed to just go and clean for them, clean their toilets, clean their rooms, clean their restaurants, clean the hotels for them only to deport us back home we can do a lot in 
Africa, we can do a lot in African communities, in Ghana communities. We can do a lot if our leaders rise up and if individuals also rise up, we can create a better country. The wise are able to do, why can't we do it? We all have the brains. We all have the brains. We need just a vision, a policy set down. When you go to Europe, many of the countries, when a child is born, they just pay the child a monthly grant allowance until the child reaches 18 years. The child is given this grant to support the parents. The child goes to school free from the basic school. They go to school free even the universities. They are giving loans to cater for themselves. So you see that Precious one, leave your comment. I think poverty is the greatest disease on earth. Poverty is the greatest disease on this planet earth. That is why we are suffering. But we can change it when our leaders put their feet on ground. When individuals put their feet on ground, we can change the situation. We can be also like the developed state where we we'll have one day in 10 to 20 years to come in africa where there will be no light of water will flow in our communities good health system good road system good road network good industrial operations housing good good schools hospitals and good amenities for all let's see what we can do for our future generation versus one leave your comment in the section below I leave you here. Have a wonderful day and may you be blessed and be empowered. Stay tuned and continue to subscribe, share this channel to bless someone. Have a wonderful day.